Marikon, representing Tinan, City Bom Sudubium Federal Constituency, Wakwai Bom State. All speakers, this bill is apt and worthy of support, particularly because the merit award awardees are supposed to have that award on the basis of achievements, accomplishments, and primarily integrity. As such, it will negatively impact on the quality of such awards if people of questionable character find themselves being awardees. This will not only negatively rub off on the award itself, but also send a very wrong signal on the image of our country and the integrity of the awardees. It is therefore on this note that I support this uh, bill and um, wish that it, it has a very expeditious hearing because we cannot continue as a people to face a situation where people have things to say about us, like the famous uh, statements of the former British Prime Minister, which continues to be used negatively about our country. So it is important that our these be people who are not just accomplished in their various endeavors, but also carry a very high degree of integrity to be worthy of bearing a name that has to do with our nation as a whole. Because once you are given that national award, you are indirectly an ambassador of our country, and you carry the image of this country anywhere you go to. So I support this bill, and I wish that it sees the light of day very quickly to correct whatever might be negative that is going on and strip all those who are carrying the word alongside uh, criminal uh, convictions so that we can henceforth have people who are of integrity and worthy of the respect that the award comes with. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yeah, yeah.